Hi, my scenario project is based around the skin and various skin diseases. The very first step I took in my project was to become deeply familiar with the skin and its different parts. I soon learned in depth about the epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous fat layers, which each have their very own functions and connections to the nervous system and different glands such as the hypothalamus. I truly feel that our body's skin does so much for us, including regulating body temperature and protecting us from pathogens, and is often overlooked. It is, after all, our body's largest organ. Next, I investigated more specialized functions of the skin. This encompassed how melanin is produced, creating diverse skin colors, or why we get goosebumps when we're cold. For the majority of my project, I researched and acquired the knowledge of various skin diseases, their treatments, and appropriate preventable measures. The ones I focused on were actinic keratosis, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, basal cell carcinoma, square cell carcinoma, tinea vesicular, and lastly, melanoma. Skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. Approximately 9,500 U.S. citizens are diagnosed with skin cancer every single day. It is estimated non-melanoma skin cancer, including basal cell carcinoma and square cell carcinoma, affects more than 3 million Americans a year. The best way to prevent skin cancer is to be educated and properly protect yourself from harmful UV rays. UV is an invisible form of light and energy given off primarily by the sun. It can penetrate the upper layers of our skin and is absorbed by DNA and can change its structure, causing mutations. Some DNA changes can be corrected. If not, changes can lead to unchecked cell growth. Answer. If you're exposed to frequent and intense UV radiation, you're exposed to one of the major risk factors for melanoma. The UV index was designed to help you make informed decisions about how much time you should spend in the sun and what type of protection you should use while spending that time. It tells you how strong the sun's UV, heat, UV rays will be. The higher the UV index, the greater the strength of the sun's UV rays and the faster you may burn. So you might be wondering, what sunscreen should I use? For starters, the American Dermatology Association, the ADA, recommends one that's labeled broad spectrum because this means it protects us against both UVA rays and UVB rays. UVA rays are the ones that prematurely age your skin, causing wrinkles and age spots, while UVB rays cause sunburn. Overexposure to both is what can lead to skin cancer. To further my scenario project, I would have really have liked to interview a dermatologist or maybe a skin cancer survivor. But with the changing situations in the world right now and corona, they made it really hard to do so. Anyway, in conclusion, I really enjoyed working on scenario this year and it's one of my favorite highlights of every single school year for the last two years.